The Climb, Tragic Ambitions on Everest, by Anatoly Bukhriv is a gripping narrative that offers a compelling exploration of the human desire for conquest and the consequences of relentless ambition in the unforgiving terrain of Mount Everest. Bukhriv, a seasoned mountaineer and one of the central figures in the 1996 Everest disaster, paints a vivid picture of the challenges, dangers, and moral dilemmas faced by climbers in their quest to reach the summit. Throughout the book, Bukhriv delves deep into the psyche of climbers who are drawn to the world's highest peak. He reveals the motivations that drive individuals to risk their lives and endure extreme physical and psychological hardships. The allure of Everest lies not only in the desire for personal achievement but also in the allure of conquering an unconquerable peak. This inherent contradiction, the battle between human ambition and the mountain's indifference, serves as a recurring theme in the narrative. Bukhriv's personal experiences and insights as a guide on Everest provide a unique perspective. He vividly recounts his own climbs, detailing the meticulous planning, the camaraderie among climbers, and the exhilaration of reaching high-altitude camps. However, he also underscores the inherent dangers that lurk in every crevasse and avalanche-prone slope. His account of the 1996 disaster, which claimed the lives of several climbers, is both heart-wrenching and informative. One of the book's central themes is the tension between commercialization and the purity of mountaineering. Bukhriv highlights how the influx of paying clients, many with limited experience, has transformed Everest into a business venture. The presence of commercial expeditions adds a layer of complexity, as guides and climbers are torn between their duty to the clients and their personal aspirations. Bukhriv does not shy away from critiquing the commercialization of Everest, raising questions about the ethics of profiting from a perilous endeavor. The 1996 Everest disaster serves as a turning point in the narrative, and Bukhriv offers a detailed and critical analysis of the events leading up to it. His account contradicts some of the claims made by other climbers involved, providing a valuable counter-narrative. Bukhriv's meticulous preparation, swift decision-making, and selfless acts during the disaster highlight the importance of experience and skill in high-stakes situations. His rescue efforts undoubtedly saved lives, and his bravery in the face of adversity is commendable. Moreover, Bukhriv delves into the moral dilemma faced by climbers when making life-and-death decisions. The Climber's Code emphasizes the importance of aiding fellow climbers in distress, but the thin air, extreme cold, and exhaustion make these decisions agonizingly difficult. Bukhriv's actions during the 1996 disaster shed light on the moral complexity of mountaineering, where self-preservation and the preservation of others often clash. Bukhriv's writing style is both introspective and evocative. He paints a vivid picture of the mountain's stark beauty, its treacherous challenges, and the moments of awe and vulnerability experienced by climbers. His prose captures the intensity of high-altitude climbing, making readers feel as though they are right there on the slopes of Everest. In conclusion, The Climb, Tragic Ambitions on Everest, by Anatoly Bukhriv offers a multifaceted exploration of mountaineering, ambition, and the human spirit. Through his personal experiences and candid reflections, Bukhriv provides readers with a deeper understanding of the motivations that drive individuals to risk everything for the pursuit of the summit. The book also serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of commercialization and the moral complexities of high-altitude mountaineering. Ultimately, Bukhriv's narrative is a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the enduring allure of Everest, even in the face of tragedy.